Hey fans and subscribers, this is your host Joe on the Gaming for Insight channel and in this video I'm going to be reviewing an update that released on September 27th, 2023 for Armory Crate SE version 1.3.15 in MCU 313. I'm going to be reviewing how to get those updates and what those updates entail. So let's start with Armory Crate version 1.315. So I'm going to go to my Armory Crate and I'm going to show you in the About area, you can see here the app version. And I went to Content and I went to System and then went to About to see that information. So to get this update, you are going to want to go to the Microsoft Store on your Asus ROG Ally. So I will pull that up here and I opened this up prior to making this video and the update commenced and I did not get a chance to record it for you, but I would at least like to show you where it is and how to get it. So when you open Microsoft Store, you will see home. You're going to want to go to library and this is where you can say, oh, actually there it is. So the Armory Crate SE and it's showing that I can open it because the update has already commenced. And if you do not see the Armory Crate SE update available to update, which would you would be prompted to do so here, you can select Get Updates. And for me, upon selecting Get Updates, the update did show for Armory Crate SE and it updated automatically upon selecting the Get Updates button. So that is where you get Armory Crate SE version 1.3.15. Now, after I did that, I went into Armory Crate. I hit the Armory Crate button on my Asus ROG Ally. The installation process for an update is going to commence. So you're not going to go right into Armory Crate, but you are going to see an installation process. So after that finishes, then you are going to see if you go to your content and system and then about you are going to see the 1.3.15.0 show here as the app version but to see these additional updates you next are going to want to go back and you are going to want to stay under content you are going to want to go to update center and now i have already completed the update however you are going to want to look for updating the MCU to MCU version 313. MCU 313 is going to show in the update center area. And upon completing that installation, you are going to be prompted to restart the machine after it does complete. Now with the two updates completed, what we can do now is look at the new features that are available. Now, if you go to your settings in Armory Crate, you are going to notice that there is a calibrate option here under control mode. We can select calibrate and we have the option to do a calibration on left stick, right stick, left trigger, and right trigger. The next feature that is an update if we go to under control mode configure, and let's say in this case we go to gamepad mode, I'm going to select configure here. The left stick and right stick have a feature for removing dead zone or decreasing the dead zone even more than the previous updates. So if we go to left stick, we originally had the dead zone and the outer threshold, but there is this anti dead zone feature here and we can hover over the exclamation point in the circle. And it does say that many games have their own dead zones for joystick usage. If the joystick does not cause movement in the game with slight joystick movement, it is likely caused by the game's dead zone. So this is an additional feature to remove dead zone if it is appearing even with what can be customized in the game. It does note here in the description that this setting provides finer grain control within the remaining section. The higher the slide, the more is added to the smallest output value. 
For those unfamiliar with what dead zone is, dead zone defines as the distance the stick, or the joystick in this case, can move from the neutral position before it starts registering as an input in games and applications. There is another video that was previously done on the channel relevant to the gamepad mode, and it is actually titled Gamepad Setup Guide in Armory Crate Dash Asus ROG Ally. And I talk more about the dead zone setting, what dead zone is, and also the outer threshold setting that you see on the right hand side. Do note that the anti-dead zone feature is also available for the right stick as well. All right, and that is going to be our video on these two new features for calibration and removal of dead zone with the Armory Crate SE version 1.3.15 and MCU 313 update for the Asus ROG Ally. Let me know in the comments, are you using these two new features? Have you updated? And are these two new features advantageous for you and helpful for you in gaming on the Asus ROG Ally? I look forward to reading what you have to say in the comments. So with that, in the words of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect, I should go.